Hey, what's going on, folks? Larry of Packmasters Dog Training here. A uh, little quick note here, guys. This is really important for all dog owners that are struggling with dogs that have dog reactivity or aggression, anything similar to that, okay? Same thing with dog trainers that are struggling with reactivity or aggression. I said this a lot, you know, over many, many years. Um, it seems to be getting worse and worse. Maybe it's not getting worse. Maybe it's just because uh, uh, social media is so big now and there's so many dog trainers online. But I've talked about for years how many people I deal with that have been through some pretty harsh programs where the dog trainer sets up the dog with the reactivity or aggression and nails it with an e-collar without any prior training or a prong collar to stop the aggression stop the reactivity okay well now more and more dog trainers reputable dog trainers you know really good professionals are starting to forward me emails too that they are now getting from clients and people saying hey this dog trainer popular trainers by the way very popular trainers this is what happened with my dog he was real reactive or aggressive they you know put an e-collar on we went for a walk he put it on a hundred he saw a dog and hit the button and held it for three seconds while the dog was screaming and cringing and did that until the dog stopped. I'm gonna say this hopefully, hopefully for the last time, but it probably won't be, to all the dog owners that struggle with these types of issues. I'm gonna to try to keep this more on the positive note and not get too negative here. I've worked real hard at that, believe me, because that kind of stuff really, really burns me up. Um, to the trainers or people, dog owners that think that that's going to be successful, I can guarantee you 100% that that will not be successful, okay? It may stop that behavior in front of you temporarily. It is never, ever going to work long-term or change the dog's mindset, okay? You have to understand something. There's a real big difference in a dog avoiding doing something because of the fear of the punishment. Big difference in that and where a dog actually doesn't feel a need to enter that mindset, if that makes sense, okay? So I've talked about this before. Punishing voluntary behaviors, such as, you know, jumping on counters, jumping on people, digging, these are all behaviors that the dog has complete control over, okay? Very easy to implement punishment and stop those behaviors with little or no training. Very, very easy, right? You cannot do that with a mindset behavior, meaning if you have a dog that's a little messed up in the head and it exposes itself as reactivity or aggression or anxiety or fear, punishment I don't care what anyone says, and don't talk about definitions. I don't give a shit about definitions. Dogs don't give a shit about definitions. It will never work long term, and that's why you don't see these people showing these dogs six months later, okay? So, for example, one of the emails that a, a very popular trainer sent me yesterday, very good advocate for good dog training and e-collars, you know, the email from a client basically said this trainer, very popular trainer, did what we talked about, lit the dog up on an e-collar. Guess what? The dog's not reactive anymore when they go on a walk. It's not. It worked, right? Instead, what the dog does is cower and shake and press up against the owner's leg and can no longer walk like a normal dog. So which is better, the reactivity or a dog that's all screwed up mentally now? Okay, so don't buy into this shit where these people say that, you know, you could do this to a dog and it's not going to mess it up. I don't talk about anything that I don't see and haven't seen for a really long time. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times, okay? I get these dogs. I never call people out by name, but I see these dogs over and over. A lot of you have seen clients talking about what their dog had been through. So again, guys, strapping on any kind of tool, usually it's an e-collar or a prong collar, and lighting a dog up, hammering it, when they show that unwanted behavior that the dog's going to train for will never, ever, ever work in a million years long term. I can guarantee you that 100%. Anybody wants to argue that, you let me know. You let me know because I've shown it and proven it over a really long time, more times than I can remember, okay? It's really important, guys. It doesn't work. If it did, no one would need dog trainers. People can do that themselves at home. It takes absolutely no skill or ability to
to do that. And that's why these people that do that do it because they don't have any skill or ability. So this will probably be the first video of the new year that piss a few people off. But the people that it pisses off are just the guilty. That's it. I promise you. But what I am concerned with is the people that don't know any better, the dog owners that because they're paying $5,000 for a boarding train, think that they're going to get pretty awesome service. Guys, you better make sure you know what's going on behind closed doors, okay? Because a lot of you don't find out until it's too late and then you are devastated when you find out and <laughs> you're still out $5,000. So think about that, all right? Seven days a week, 365 days a year, I receive those emails with these people that have been through that asking for help. Some of them I help, some of them I can't, okay? I have two separate waiting lists, regular clients and clients for dogs that have been messed up through bad e-collar programs. Two separate waiting lists. So I'm not talking out of my ass here. I'm not making this stuff up. A lot of you reputable trainers, professionals out there see it too. We talk all the time, okay? So just be aware, okay, guys? That's never going to work. It's a little, takes a little more than that. Peace.